Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about a diner classic. We're gonna throw you the patty melt. We got some french fries. And to top everything off, we're doing a chocolate milkshake my way. I call it the big three. You guys stay tuned. Well, this is the deal. A lot of times when we do a simple burger or a simple item, it just seems like it just needs more. And sometimes I get comments like, hey, what about this? What about that? And I thought, what about it? Let's do it, right? So today we're gonna put french fries on the griddle. We got the Traeger rocking today. Let me turn this one on. And um, so we'll put french fries on the griddle. I know that's probably not a downer classic, but the fries are. But since we're doing a griddle channel, I thought I could show you guys how to do french fries on the griddle at the same time. I have some ground chuck. This is exactly one pound. I'm gonna cut in half and make eight ounce patties because I want the patties to mirror the size of our rye bread. Almost no must, no fuss. The idea, we're gonna thinly slice our onions, get them started on the flat top, put a pat of butter down, and then put those patties right on top so the onions can steam through the burger. Kind of like a cross between an Oklahoma onion smash burger and kind of like the old style like Crystal Burgers or White Castle where those onions just steam through the meat. And then obviously the cheese today is, uh, we're gonna use a uh, baby Swiss and some uh, American cheese, okay? The ingredients for the chocolate milkshake are still in the freezer and the refrigerator because they're so hot outside. So when we come to that point, we'll have everything cleared off and we'll make it uh, once everything else is done. You guys good? Yep. You followed along? Yep. All right, let's go. All right, the first thing I wanna do is start getting our meat ready. Like I said, I'm just splitting it right in half. You kinda wanna reform your patties. But I also want to make sure the patties mirror the size of the bread, the shape of the bread. So instead of doing your traditional oval, I'm going to come out and do more of a rectangle. I made one patty just a little bit bigger. That way I can distinguish the difference. We're going to use shake on there. It's just salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. It's been a really good uh, response from you guys between that and the smash. But typically when you think burgers, you think the smash. But I think it's good enough to go on beef as well. There's half on that. We actually had it on those cheesesteaks the other day and it was fantastic. Yeah. Yep. Okay, just like that, okay? All right, I'm gonna let that sit to the side, start doing its thing. While I've got clean hands, generous amount of butter. This is one of those indulgent style rich sandwiches. Obviously you can substitute another bread. Sourdough is very common, but you know, just to come up with a traditional style deli rye, um, kind of like your diner style. This is what we thought of. I'm also not putting any condiments on there. I'm gonna let the beef do its thing, the onions, the butter, and just let it go just the way it is. No ketchup, no mustard, no mayonnaise, no A1, no nothing. I'm just gonna guesstimate right here, probably like half an onion, like I said, sliced extremely thin. I'm going to start cooking the onions now. If the onions get too far ahead of us, we can always take them off and regroup because it's about when the french fries come off, okay? So I'm gonna add butter and oil. We're using the Traeger today. It's on low right now. We're not going to season or anything right now. Just start letting them go do its thing right there. Okay. The griddle's definitely hot enough. My griddle rolls downhill, so I'm just going to add a light coat of an oil. We're just moving the fries around, make sure they're frying even. This isn't like a, a fry one side and then flip it. This is just more like constant. Griddle's still on low. Temperature dropped a hair, but remember this griddle runs about 380 on low. So that's a good fry temperature right there. Were our french fries thawed out at all? No. 
Okay, you can see that we got two batches. I just didn't want to overload the griddle with frozen fruit, so I kind of like just guessed and split it in half. Um, these are ready to take off. You can see how nice golden brown we got. Uh, shake that. I'm telling you, we get a lot of responses back. I am a huge fan right now of this on french fries, potatoes, hash browns. Some people say eggs. They like it on steaks, pork chops, whatever. But I'm telling you, the fries are where it's at. So we're just going to take this off. Move them around a second. Ooh, it smells good. You going to show them your new Dollar Tree purchase? to test out for the Traeger. It's funny, I got one because I was thinking I'm always right-handed so all my food's good over to the left and here I, am the, here I am the very first second putting food through the hole. So I did the hack, I got the, uh, the thing Ooh, with jigger. It's hot. Stops the food. All right, to get you caught up to speed, I got my onions ready, I got my fries working over here. Like I said, I'm just gonna take this knob of butter about a half a tablespoon, let it do its thing in the onions. Shake that, I mean smash that right in the middle. And then shake that right there. So now we're gonna allow that butter and those onions to seep through that meat and we'll be able to flip it over. Oh yeah. Save a little bit of those onions right on top, just like that. Oh, yeah. We went for about 135 degrees. Take these off, let them rest. Clean up a little bit. All right, cleaned off our griddle. Butter, <clears throat> butter slide down. We're going double American. Take those rested burgers right on top. Perfect golden brown. Woo. Chocolate milkshake time. We got some chocolate ice cream. Obviously, you can use whatever kind you like. I like to go a little light handed on mine. Are you being sarcastic? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is Friday cheat day. We don't use regular milk when we make chocolate milkshakes. We use chocolate milk to make chocolate milkshakes. Put in just a little bit of ice. Just a light dusting of cocoa powder for richness. Blend it up, Let's see what we got. Take a little glass, a little chocolate syrup. I don't know if you can ever have too much chocolate and chocolate milkshake. There you go. I don't know about you. But that is what I want when I go to a diner. That's for my thick patties out there instead of the smashed. You got the onions, you got the cheese, you got the toasted bread, you got the fries, a little pickle on the side. And of course, you know, we got to make that milkshake. Hey, there's two straws there. There's oh two straws. Oh my gosh, that's the only way to have it. <laughs> if you want to have it, have it the right way. Mm. The chocolate milk, 
the powder, the syrup. Mm. All right, should we cut into one? I mean, we've got to. They look amazing. I mean, to me, that's what it's all about. Burger to bun ratio, caramelized <laughs> onions, cheese out of the wazoo. I don't know if that's exactly how you get it in a diner. I don't know if they do half pound patty melts. I think letting the meat rest just for a second is crucial before you put it on the um, on the, the bun so it allows it to you know not soggy up as much, still retains that crispness. Where's my bite? You might be fending for yourself on this one. <laughs> I get one, two, three and a half, and you get a half. <laughs> All right, guys, there you go. We got the chocolate milkshake, got the french fries seasoned to perfection. I absolutely love that season on french fries. Give it a try. Let us know what you think. I'm not crazy, I promise you. The patty melt done the right way. It's not, it's not dressed at all. You can add your toppings, your condiments the way you like. We let the burger come through. The caramelized onions, got a little pickle on the side. The two cheeses, you got the American cheese with a creaminess. You got the Swiss with that kind of like sharpness and they just, the raw bread, change the bread if you want to. This was a blast, but here. I'm gonna chow down. I know, here, let me what? see. You, what, do you think they're gonna, what do you think you're gonna tell them that you don't like it? <laughs> Good, Amy, there's nothing left. Mm. Mm. Just look at the onions in there and the cheese. Mm. That was good. Right, just something different. Doesn't even need any mayonnaise or Sometimes Catch when you anything. just do it right, it just, mm. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we have a join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on The Griddle Group on Facebook is where we talk about griddles, where we talk about classes like this, and where you guys um, really encourage us to step outside the box and do something different. So thank each and every one of you for doing that as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. We got to get to that milkshake. Oh, my milkshake melts. brings... <laughs>